Welcome, welcome everybody to the Late Show. I am your host, Stephen Colbert. Folks, <laughs> tomorrow, this being Wednesday, as we all know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's a special time when we gather with family and friends to share our gratitude through America's traditional expression of love, the food coma. <laughs> this year, your Thanksgiving might look a, a little different because prices are up on almost everything from frozen pie crusts to pumpkin pie mix to a dozen dinner rolls. Or well, there goes my favorite dessert, a dozen <laughs> dinner rolls. <laughs> These high prices are caused by a variety of factors, including the war in Ukraine, high fuel prices. But the number one factor, according to experts, is Hunter Biden's laptop. <laughs> But it's not just the supporting players. It's also the star of the show, Tom Turkey. In addition to inflation, a blight of avian flu means that Thanksgiving 2022 is shaping up to be a tough one for Turkey. To be fair, I'm pretty sure every Thanksgiving is a tough one for Turkey. Even, sure, why not? A little applause before they meet their end. Even if you can get your hands on some of that dry, cloth-flavored meat, it will... <laughs> likely be much smaller than you're used to because some turkeys may not have had the full amount of time to get the 20 pounds before Thanksgiving. Oh, so turkey is that friend now. Oh, I'm just so little. No matter what I eat, grain, berries, regional grasses, I'm like, I'm drowning in this waddle. It's so annoying. I mean, I'm jealous. You eat anything and get fat. <laughs> the shortage has become so dire that Arby's, and this is true, is warning customers that turkey sandwiches are not available and is posted temporarily out of stock on menu boards, forcing them to change their slogan from we have the meats to want a cup of horsey sauce? <laughs> of course, kinda, I kinda do. The day after you've shared your meal with family and friends, it's time for the next tradition, trampling them at Best Buy for a pair of Bluetooth headphones because <laughs> it's Black Friday. While most of Black Friday sales come from big businesses, we here at The Late Show have been trying our best to support the little guys out there. Since the very beginning of the pandemic, we have worked to give independently owned companies a boost with the hashtag Colbert Small Biz Bump and have highlighted them, dozens of them, here on the show. The response has been tremendous. Just listen to the owners of Proust Pets in Lansing, Michigan, after we mentioned their store on this show. Hi guys, it's Curbay from Proust Pets. If you haven't heard, there's something really cool. We were featured, Proust Pets was featured on Stephen Colbert. Sean and I had planned to go live today and do a creative video for Small Biz Bump. Um, my bump had other plans. I'm now dilated to three centimeters and was sent home to do nothing but take baths, and this is my own self-prescription. If you haven't tried Ben & Jerry's Minter Wonderland, it's like the best ice cream on the planet. I'm gonna sign off now and continue <laughs> laboring and have a baby. Just to be clear, that is wonderful. Wow. Yeah. That's so wonderful, that's beautiful to hear. But just to be clear, getting the Colbert small biz bump does not cause pregnancy. <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> this video, of course, is very touching, and I hope everything went well. But I do have one small issue. Your ice cream choice. Come on. Next baby you have, ditch that bucket of sludge and administer a massive dose of Stephen Colbert's Americone Dream, <laughs> right there. Ooh. Come on, <laughs> boom, right there. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh my lord. Mm. It is so good, it's basically an epidural. <laughs> In fact, our slogan is Americone Dream, one bite, and you could yank a cantaloupe out of there. <laughs> That's true. Wow, really? That's what they say? <laughs> Nothing like a massive dose of dairy when you're doing a monologue. Nice. 
Since then, we've gotten videos from other businesses that could use a bit of a boost, like this one from La Tigre Men's Store in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Hello, Steven. Welcome to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and welcome to La Tigre. So, Steven, La Tigre is Puerto Rico's premier destination for custom clothing and Italian collections. And although we sell luxury items and high-quality goods, we're still a small business. So, past year has been really challenging for us as well. You know what else? Last year, when you told Evie your measurements for a birthday present, we made a shirt just for you. We even put your initials to the shirt. Well, I'm happy to say I got the shirt from La Tigre. <laughs> and it's, abso it's absolutely beautiful. There are the initials and everything. Uh, unfortunately, due to the stress of the last couple of years, my measurements have evolved. <laughs> I am not at liberty to discuss whether they've gone up or down. Let's just say this will be perfect for someone who shares my initials but has not been pounding pints of America dream. <laughs> now, have this, have this given to a waif. <laughs> We've heard from so many great businesses that deserve the bump, but there was one in Cleveland, Ohio, that really caught our eye. Here we are at Fine Points in Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Liz Tikas, and I'm the owner. We have a huge selection of yarn. We support independent dyers. We have a lot of hand dyed and hand painted yarns. You can see here we have hundreds of buttons. Some people just come here for the buttons. So again, this is Liz Tikas from Fine Points in Cleveland, Ohio, and I hope you'll come and see us soon. That got me excited about Fine Points, and I, I wanted to get other people excited about it too. And if there's one thing that the fine slate of programming here at CBS has shown, is that nothing gets people more excited than the release of a brand new NCIS franchise. <laughs> but how could we harness that to help find points? Take a look. Listen up, agents. Congratulations. You have solved all the Navy-related crimes in Los Angeles. Damn right. Which yep. means we Love have that. to transfer the entire NCIS unit. Welcome to Cleveland. Ohio? Unbelievable. He left us all the clues. Yeah. There's still one mystery. Where do they get this yarn? Kenzie, come here. Someone's died. This fabric. It's hand dyed. By independent dyers. It's amazing. It takes. Look at the detail. Attention, fellow Clevelanders. As mayor of Cleveland, I must address the gruesome crime wave spreading across our city. Damn it. Knitting needles. We believe the crochet killer is on the loose again. Look at what he did to the victim's face. Oh, it's awful. But that is an incredible selection of buttons. We must determine where he gets these amazing knitting slash murder supplies. Let's check out the hyperdiagnostic images of the needle. OK, enhance. Double enhance. Enhance reflection. I'll convert still image into video. This is Liz Tinkus. From Fine Points in Cleveland, Ohio. Fine Points. Sorry, agents, but I think you've lost the thread. <laughs> Thank you, Drew Carey, everyone at NCIS Los Angeles, and of course, Liz Tikas and everyone at Fine Points Cleveland. I hope it helps move some yarn. We got a great show tonight. My guests are Jake Gyllenhaal and star of The Crown, Elizabeth Debicki. But when we come back, meanwhile, 
join us, won't you? 